Yeah, Overwatch 2 audio is on. Overwatch 2. I'm Morgan. I'm Alex. And we are your casters for tonight. Um, so some of you might notice we don't have Trent with us today. Alex, you want to introduce yourself for our viewers at home? Uh, um, some of you might know me as Normal Land. Uh, I'm a Rocket League player for the Kansas City Rocket League team. And I'm filling in for uh, Trent tonight. Yeah, Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. We're super excited to have you. Super excited to be here. Cool. Uh, so tonight, Keene State College is going up against Nichols um, in the NACE Star League East 6 Conference. This is our playoff games. You know, you just had your playoff games last night. Super cool. Yeah. Uh, round of six here. Talk to us a little bit about how y'all were feeling last night and how our Overwatch 2 players might be feeling today. There, there's definitely a lot of nerves to do with uh, the playoffs because... It's a it's a winner go home, and I think that will probably affect them a lot tonight. And I think it's going to be a completely different game than we saw seven weeks ago yeah. against Nichols. And I think that could go to our favor with players like Connor or Hoodnut and Tut, who could potentially pop off and swing the result in our favor. Yeah, for sure. I think we've seen a lot of improvement. Um, just from our team. This is our first season, you know, as, as a varsity team. A lot of our players first time competing, you know, playing competitively. Uh, but you know, you're, whoever wins this game does go on next week to face Kansas City. Um, so there's a lot of good energy in this room and we just got to keep that momentum going. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a completely different team than we saw last time against Nichols. Mm -hmm. They put a lot of effort into into it in practice and scrims and I've seen them all in here every single day mm -hmm. working hard to improve as a team and as individuals mm -hmm. and I think that we could really see a, a good game out of them and I'm excited to see what they can do today. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, so just like our normal Overwatch 2 sessions, oh, this will be a 5v5 matchup tonight against Nichols College um, and it will be the best of five games tonight. And we will start, as always, with a control map. We did lose the coin toss, which, you know, I know you watch a lot, Alex, but we don't always win, lose that. We usually win, so that was kind of funny. Um, and we lost that so we can win the series. Exactly, exactly. That's what I like to see. And we'll be starting with that control map. They did pick Lijon Tower, which just happens to be one of our favorites anyways. So good energy going into it. Um, anything you want to add before we pause until we start the game? Um... I'm just excited to see what, what they can do. I, I'm really looking forward to see what players like Hoodnut and Tut do in this high pressure situation. I know they've been really good all season and I think we I think they could put up a good performance tonight. No, I agree. Thanks for that perspective. Perfect. Well we'll be right back.
and we are back. Um, so as we said, we are doing our first match, which is a control map. We are at Lijiang Tower. Um, just taking a peek around. We've been here before, but for our viewers at home who, maybe this is their first game. This is a 5v5 control. Um, so essentially it's a bit of like king of the hill. Um, our two teams will pause. Um, so we are paused for one moment. We'll get some more information, but sit tight. We're going to switch uh, to a Be Right Back screen until we're unpaused. Actually, uh, never mind. We are unpausing right now. Beautiful. Kay. Before I was paused. Control, King of the Hill. Our two teams will fight to get in control of this map. And once this center map here is under control by a team, we will work up percentage on the top until whoever reaches 100% first. And this map um, is best three. of three. One. So there'll be multiple Round rounds. Capture. Switching Capture. over to our team. Here we have Midas Classic on our Winston, Hoodna on Genji, Tut on Sojourn, um, Shadowstorm on Kiriko, and Swift 5 on Moira. Classic build for us going up against Nickel Spear. This is definitely an important first game to get out, get out on against the team they previously swept us. I think, I think that would be their best opportunity to try and win this series is to come out, come out hot and get a, get a nice pick out. there. Pick on the support monarch, super big. And there we go, a couple more picks. Oh, that's nice. Our team is really focusing on their supports right now. Switching over to Shadowstorm on support, keeping our team alive. Really good job, Keith. We dominated the first fight. That's a good sign. Very awesome. We'll have to see what Nichols does to come back from that. Uh, but we're for now, we're going to be building up percentage here. Um, so now we're going to probably get to maybe 20% before they're able to come back and touch. Switching back over here to Midas, beginning to poke on the enemy tank. Looks like we may have had some switches on their team. Oh, sleeping onto that tracer. Don't want to like, get background stuck. Midas is stuck. Oh, oh, and we are just going to reset here. Now this is important. We do want to reset here, not let um, Nichols get too much charge off of us. We don't want to get any picks. We want to just reset together and go in all at once. Yeah, definitely. We don't want to overextend our Oh, and then we just traded healers there. See what we can do. Midas jumping in, looking for those picks, looking for that substitute. Putting that going after that now enemy Winston, but backing up again. Too many down. Good, good call from Kinsey College. Looking at alts, we have Shadowstorm and Midas, and also putting that on alts. Yeah, it looks like Nichols popped a couple of alts there. Midas coming in, poking, seeing maybe if he can get an ult off. Drops his shield down. Could not got stunned there. Looking for a pick, looking for someone who he can take down. Tut down as well. Unfortunately, Nichols is gonna clean us up there. Let's see if uh, Keen makes any adjustments here. Yeah, see if we can make any changes. It's still very early in the match. 60, 70 percent. We probably at least have one more good push in here before we wrap up this round. But we are at 35 percent, so the table can turn very quickly. Yeah, we're playing with a lot of ultimates here. Nicholas could potentially build a few during this encounter here. Oh, there we go. Tut. Unfortunately, gets picked off. Nice picks there. Get that. <laughs> no, no, she was chasing. Clean it up. Midas trying to stay alive here, trying to pick up, able to get that tracer. Looking for those two supports, hanging out together here. Ooh. Oh no. 
Cut here trying to get that pick. Unable to. Moira able to get in here? No, just missed it. Yeah, that was a really good fight. We did get in there. We're able to capture that point super easy. Um, but unfortunately, Nichols was able to, to grab it. Yeah. I, I like the start, though, from Keen. It, it's a good it's a good sign going forward. Mm -hmm. We were able to get that point early on. And we'll see if we can use that momentum that we got early in the game to make some adjustments this, this time around and uh, hopefully get the, the point. No, for sure. I think you're right, Alex. Like, we had really good momentum. We had really good positioning there. We just got to maybe make a few adjustments, see what we can do to to counter uh, Nichols College a little bit and, yeah. and get back in there. Yeah, 100%. So we are on to our second round. Um, so this is a different map, but we've been here before. There are opportunities to knock people off. We do see an Orissa change on Midas. No Winston this time. And with Lord Tut, we are seeing um, a change as well. They portal in. Looking to see where Nichols is coming from. They don't want them to sneak up on us. Maybe pick off our healers. Switching the Hoodnut, who is encountering enemy tank back here. Looks like that enemy Doomfist is looking for a pick. Could be super, super dangerous, especially against a squishy character. And we were able to capture the point. Nice. Positioning I do like that switch out of Midas to the Orisa. It's uh, definitely more of a meta character right now. and mm -hmm. We'll see if hopefully that can make, a, make the change that we're looking for. Yeah, 100%. Looks like here we're trying to poke, see exactly where Nichols is coming from. Looks like they're coming from different angles, which is a classic kind of Doofus um, strategy, so to say. Doofus can do a lot of damage and set a lot of characters, um, unlike some other tanks. So they really want to take advantage of that and go after our supports or anybody who, who has a little bit less HP. So up here trying to keep our players out. Ooh, and that knockoff from the enemy Doofus, unfortunate. We have five here getting in with our coalescence, trying to keep our team up. Hoodnut. Trying to get as much, yeah, trying to get in there as much as possible. We were able to get to 53%, halfway there, so if we can retake back this point, there's a very good chance that we can clean up this round um, on this map. Yeah, definitely a good start from the team. Hopefully we can keep that momentum going into the second round. Yeah, it seems like the echo on the enemy team has given us quite some issues. Um, but I'm curious to see how we're going to counter her. The echo is super difficult character to counter sometimes just because she can play into a lot of different yeah. Poking here. We do again have a couple of alts. Intuck goes down, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but we still have a lot of time. They're only at 40%, um, so our team is going to regroup. Swept 5 already retreated, so we're going to hang out here, wait for people to respawn, and we can get back in there and see if we can take this map from Nichols. Tracer trying to poke at uh, Tracer moves. Oh, oh no, swept. Scrap battle going on right here at our entrance. Unfortunately, goes down. We want to back up again. We don't want to, especially with um, where the percentage is looking. We don't want to lose any characters over extend. Nice, you're trying to build up that tracer again, being tracer. There goes Tut's ult, blocking him. See if we can get in there. We teleported in. We're able to capture the point. Ooh, nice. Little back cap right here. There we have Echo switching. See if Hoodnut's able to get a pick. Un doesn't look like he was able to get anything. Switching to Tut. Oh, is able to. Ooh. Switching to Midas. We're hanging in there, unfortunately. <laughs> Taken with Doomfist. Hopefully we're able to touch before the point. Yeah, we do have about 95%. Shadowstorm seeing if he's able to get in there. Don't think he's able to touch. Yeah. 
but that's okay. Nichols is going to take this first round. It's far from over. We still have uh, two more games, at least, that we are going to be competing in. Um, Doomfist here. Enemy Doomfist with the play of the game. Let's take a peek at this. I think it was that knockoff, yeah. Yeah, yeah Doomfist, unfortunately, I personally hate playing against him, especially as a support main. One of the more challenging tanks to, to encounter, especially when you're a squishy character, because he just punches you around the map. So we'll have to see what maybe we'll do in our next game. Um, but for now, we'll be right back. And we are back. Thank you all for waiting until our next match. So as usual, this is a gauntlet. So best of five. So we at least have two more games on the docket tonight. Um, some of you may have guessed it. We are doing our hybrid map next. Um, so we are at King's Row, one of our favorites. Um, so as we're setting up here, we have two. our two teams uh, looks like Keene State College, our team will be attacking the point, um, and Nichols College will be defending. So as hybrids go, it first starts off as sort of a control map. This is our point. Um, Nichols does not want us to take control of this point, and then if and when we do get it, we turn it into a cart escort, and we push the cart down to the end of the map. Yeah, I... I I'm excited to see what changes they make going into this game after dropping the last one. Uh, Nichols is a pretty good team, so I'm excited Five, to see how we are four, able to counter three, them this two, game. One. 
Mm -hmm. Looks like we're rocking with a couple different heroes. Um, mostly the Widow pick. Very interesting. We'll see if Tut's able to get any picks here. So this is a classic Widow map. Um, Tut's looking for those those picks to see if he's able to get any intel for his team. Midas and Hoodnut and the rest of the team are engaging already. Let's see if Tut is able to get anything. It's almost like the other team knows. Yeah. <laughs> They're hiding here. Oh. Midas there getting low. You can see him in the scope. Oh, and then Tuck goes down, unfortunately. Could not hear hunting for a healer, hunting for somebody, but might just hang out for a little bit and ooh, pause. Yeah, but pause. Again. Uh oh. Looks like we're going to be Look. having a restart for, yeah. this, for this match. We will be right back. Sorry about that. Not sure what happened, but we are back. Um, we're setting up the map. I won't explain for a second time what we're doing because the same thing, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we started our push. We're able to get an idea to see uh, what Nickel's going to do. So that might be yeah. a slight advantage for us. We have a little bit of intel on their strategy going in. Mm -hmm. I, I, I suspect it was a bit of a them being scared. They saw Hidna <laughs> and they pulled the plug. Yeah, they got a little nervous there. <laughs> we were pressuring too hard, you're right. Looks like we are... Oh, actually. Looks like we're not going to go with the same comp. That's a bold strategy. So, looks like our change Tut isn't on Widow. We have Soldier 76. <laughs> And um, now the world pays for your so actions. we'll see if we're able to get yeah. any other picks. It seemed like they yeah, almost knew, that, you know, on this map it's very popular for them to have widows. So wouldn't be surprised if Nichols expected us to have a widow to start this map. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> aim to devastate. Wait, <laughs> I love Soldier Seventy Six. It's like other games. So when you're terrible, like I am, it's <laughs> it's easy to play. It's like Call of Duty. That's why I always say I'm like, just go play Call of Duty if you're not doing good at DPS. But let's see if Tuts are able to get a pick this time. Maybe they're not going to see it coming. Oh. Put up there, taking some damage. There we go. Tut dishing out a little bit. Looks like they are backing up. Um, don't want to get picked off. Shadow Storm taking a bit of damage. Going to switch over. Keeping Hoodnut alive. Got down to 57%. Switching over to Midas. Nice. 
No picks yet. No, no one's got dead yet. Yeah, shots from. Got to watch out there. Four nickels. They love healers. So five, keeping our team alive, balancing that damage, balancing that heals. Midas getting cut, cut off. The tut down. Shadow Storm getting picked off. Midas, but not retreating. Unfortunately. Tut here switching, switching over to Soldier 76. Could be a good move against this team. Not our best start, but we look to bounce back. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a very important game for for the mental of both teams. Yeah. Uh, Nichols, they're definitely going to underestimate us this match because they feel like they can just take us down. But Keen, I, I, they have, I have a lot of options, but they were, they were very enthusiastic going into that small little pause. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if that, that affects this series at all. Yeah, for sure. Looks like we're playing pretty smart here. We don't want to, you know, go in with half our team or anything, which, you know, classic Keen State, like, not wanting to, wanting to maintain our team together and not go in under. It. But we're trying to play it safe, especially on this first point. Like you just said, Alex, this is a really big uh, game, big point. There we have the enemy Moira going in with the ult, trying to keep their team up as we were playing in. Swept backing up, keeping our RSO alive. Midas fight into, ooh, and it's two ults, two horse ults, ooh. Tut here, still in the middle of it. They kind of forgot he was there for a second. Poor Tut, he's got to retreat, no. Oh. <laughs> they did use all of their ults for that though, so. Yeah, it still looks like we're working with three alts. We're gonna have a fourth and a second, so that really, that could be a really good advantage for us. Monarch there. Luzio has an ult. Oh, there we go. Kiriko from Shadowstorm. Switching over to Midas. Trying to get that Lucio over here. He's dancing around the edge. We gotta focus that Lucio. Nice. Cleaned up. Tut is down. Kiriko's on her way back. Swept, keeping our team alive. Nice, two ticks. See if we can get that third and start pushing that cart down the road. Nice. Awesome. That was a great capture by the team. We're able to get the, we're able to get the point and start our payload. Midas here, pushing up forward. We don't want Nichols to come back in. Catch us alone and beat them before they can get to the cart. Put Knight here, taking a bit of damage, getting brought back up. Tut getting that advantage point as a good soldier does. That May looking for a pick for Tut. <laughs> He's got to watch his head. Dovestorm in a little precarious position here, but thank goodness she can teleport. <laughs> Midas here, backing up, using that wall, trying not to take too much damage and keep up. But we want to keep this part going. Here we go, maybe an ult. Nice, large ult coming out from Midas. Big moment. We do have that mail coming out though. Nice. Really good. We just got to take out that enemy Arissa. She did pop ult for that, which I don't think it's worth. Yeah. Really good job. Good cleanup from Keen State. So we're gonna start pushing this cart more. Every inch, every meter we can get on this, the the less. You know, the more that Nichols is gonna have to push when we reverse rolls. So it's wicked important that we stay on this cart and keep it moving. Midas pushing forward. Just trying to get some a little bit of pick, pick damage. Nothing nothing that could make it too risky here. And we are engaging a full fight now. Hoodnut does have ult, so we'll have to see if he pops it here, decides to hold it. Midas goes down. We're going to start probably backing up here, sub five. Swept um, trying to stay alive. Good. He didn't want to get picked off there. And he's able to get away. He's regrouping here. So looking at ultimates, Midas at 70, 80%. Big damage there. Um, Tut, 30. And everyone else has their ult right now. So Midas has ult. Right now we are winning that ultimate economy, but oh, another ultimate. Nice. 
to go down after the ultimate movement is unfortunately he goes down as well. Slow. Trying to Stay getting alive. picked off. <laughs> no, after that echo now. Unfortunately Hood goes down. Shadow Storm trying to keep Tut up, trying to also get a little bit of damage out there, support our, our DPS. Uh, we're able remaining, we're probably gonna go for a big push here. Yeah, we're able to regain recontrol of the cart, which is awesome. Um, see if we're able to get a couple more minutes here, mi uh, meters here, or take it to the checkpoint. We're not super far, and we, like I said, we do have a lot of ultimates. Um, yeah. Enemy Kiriko. Not, not. Our gear goal. Coalescence coming out from Swept. Two go down on the on Nicholas. Nice, nice. See Three if we're able down. to push this forward. Hoodnut trying to get that Arissa down. Doesn't want her. Nice. Hoodnut is able to get the kill. Now Midas is going to push up here. We don't want them to intercept the cart before it can get to. Um, They're able to capture it. Nice capture. So that did add a minute and a minute and some change to our timer, so we have more of an opportunity to push it down more. Uh, like I said again, every meter we get on this push is really crucial for our defense of the map. We did use a lot of ultimates there, so uh, right now we are going to be behind in ults for the next fight. We do have a, a minute left in the game, so we still have time to probably do one or two fights. Um, and then we have the enemy Echo coming in, copying our Orissa. See if she's going to be able to get that ultimate quick. But we're backing up immediately. Uh, we don't want them to you know, use those ults. Oh, there we go, that enemy Orissa in Hood. And that goes down. Yeah. Now we're backing up to spawn. Again, we probably have enough time to do one more good push in here. Uh, one more push is all it could take. Yeah, that, we got it last time with 30 seconds remaining. We can do it again. Building mm -hmm. all. We have Midas as all. We'll probably have Hoodnut, Genji Blade, yeah, Kiriko. We might have everyone's ult by the end of this fight. Midas goes down. Hoodnut goes down. Cuts backing up. Shadow Storm goes down and Tuck goes down. Swept trying to stay alive until his team is able to move. Want to see if we're able to get on that cart. Oh no. Doesn't look like it. Really good push from Keen State. We're able to get two points and uh, 29 meters. So, mm -hmm. hey, we'll just stop them at the first at yeah. the first thing. They're not going to get the first capture. None of that will matter if we, yeah, exactly. If we stop them before it from taking the point. Um, yeah, that was really full. You know, we've pushed it less and won before, so I'm not too nervous about that um, as long as, you know, we keep that momentum going. I got my money on Hoodnut and the clutch on defense. We were able yeah. to <laughs> we were able to clutch it up last last week to get the the playoff berth. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what they're able to do on defense right here. Hopefully get the first one in the series and build some momentum. Yeah, for sure. So this is one of our favorite maps. We do practice a lot on this map. So we'll have to see if we whip out any new um, strategies, any new positioning. I know we, we have our favorite little setup. Um, looks like we're going to go with the classic Midas. <laughs> um, not classic, but Midas on Orisa, classic Hoodnut on Genji, Tut on Sojourn, Shadowstorm on Ana, which we have not seen tonight. I think that'll be a good pick. Um, and then Swept 5 on Moira. So the Ana on uh, for Shadowstorm, I'm thinking they probably want to get that Nano or um, that grenade in, that anti-grenade, which basically negates any healing if if Ana is able to get any good um, players in that. So we'll have to see. But I hear TP going out from Nichols. Maybe a distraction, maybe them trying to get behind us. We already have some turrets out from their enemy sim. Swept unfortunately goes down to yeah. well Sh Shadow. Shadow Storm is down. They went straight for our support supports. Mice here going down, Hoodnut backing up. Hoodnut able to stay alive on five. Oh. Uh, unfortunately goes down. Cut backing up as well. 
Looks like Nichols is going to get this first point, um, but it's okay. They got a long way to go and Looks push like this card. Looks pay for the to go for the payroll. Yeah. That was quite the tricky little move. I have to say, I haven't seen that from a sim. Looks like they they faked out a TP onto the the high ground and then actually went behind and used TP uh, to get behind it focus of support. So that was a pretty tricky um, move. I respect it, honestly. So we have Midas here going in. We're, we're, pushing. we're trying to contest this payload. We don't want them to push too far down the lane. We're backing up. Lots of damage coming in from the enemy team. Tuck getting picked on by this Winston uh, here. Midas is low. Shadow Storm oh, oh. getting picked on by that win skin. Midas goes down. But not looking to, to retreat a bit to stay alive. Hopefully get a pick on him. Unfortunately goes down. Yeah. Our team is going to regroup here and head back in. See if we have any character changes. Doesn't look like it. Um, Midas does have all hood nut. Is getting close. Tut's also there. Um, Nichols, unfortunately, is has a few more ults in us, so we have a little bit of an uphill fight here. See if we're able to contest here, and we are going in with Midas' ult. See if we're able to get any damage out. Could not hear getting picked on by that Woodson again. Just going after our squishy characters with that Woodson, which he's really good at. Woodson is a high mobility tank, so he's able to get in there, pick off those squishy healers, um, and then get out. We do still have a couple of ults building here. We are almost getting close to that nano from Ana. We have Swept's Moira, Coalescence, um, and Tut's um, ultimate is also getting close for Sojourn. So we have a couple of tools in our belt. And then we have the Lucio ult going out on Nichols. Tut, ooh, and then we have the, oh, we have the May ult come in and freeze folks. Unfortunate. Looks like they are gonna be able to cap that point. And Nichols is gonna take that round. It's okay. We got him right where we want him for yeah. the reverse sweep. We do. We, you know, we've come back from other similar situations. So, oh, and, and anyway, is able to get the player of the game with the with the googly eyes today. <laughs> Happy April Fools! I mean, that's all that really matters is the player. And play of the, of the game. game, yeah. You know, you, I would almost some might argue that he stole that from Midas. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay. Any play of the game from our team, we like to see. So we are going to return. We are going to switch over to a Flashpoint map in one second. So thank you all for watching.
Hello, we are back. Um, so, our third game of this gauntlet will be New Junk City on a Flashpoint. So, for those watching for the first time at home, um, this is a sort of like a control map. So, it's a larger map than what we've seen tonight. And essentially, three points will spawn randomly on the map, and our team versus Nichols will have to gain control of these points. The first one is always the same, but the two after spawn randomly after um, the control maps are decided. They do load faster than what our first map would be. So um, this won't be as, like, won't be super long hold, c uh, long controls, so to say. Um, but yeah, super excited to see what we do. And this is a winner go home situation for Keen, so yeah. Talk to us a little bit how that home. feels. Yeah, it, it feels it feels very hard when you're in that situation. When if you don't win, you're done. Uh, I didn't I didn't have to go into match point last night, thankfully. But just that that amount of pressure is really hard to overcome. You know? mm -hmm. Like it's just simple mistakes. It's like if you misclick a button and you don't get a shot or you don't get your ult off. Back in the Mm -hmm. Very stupid thing, but we'll see how we can uh, overcome that. Fortunately, looks like Swept is the last one alive here, running out with Hood not hiding. But we we did get a couple of picks there, so we are gonna regroup, get back in there, see if we can touch Hood not looking for that pick. We did have some character switches this round, so ooh, Hood not goes down. Switching over to Tut. And we're able to capture. Yeah, able to capture. Back cap it. Looks like the other team C9 did a little bit. Um, Tut on the sim. We have seen him play sim a couple times tonight. One of my favorite heroes, personally. Oh, Midas goes down, unfortunately. Switching back over to Shadow Storm here. Trying to keep on that point, get as much percentage. We are at 38% 40. Um, we were able to get quite a bit and surpass um, Nichols here, but we have a lot of time to get back in there still and retake this point. Yeah, absolutely. Any, any bit of momentum we can build up right now is super you. important. Try and get all of the all of the nerves out as much mm -hmm. as we can and really just try and push for this victory. For sure. Looking at ultimates, um, looks like we are, some of our heroes are building faster than Nichols, but... Looks like we are about the same in, on most points. Um, Hoodnut does have ult. It's great to see. There we go. Now, we, now he's using it. He's able to take down one. One pick. Going for a second, potentially. Able to get a bunch of strikes into that enemy Winston. Trying to retake that point. Trying to get that echo up there. No. Ugh. Hoodnut here still on point. Still. Still, still trying to take the team. <laughs> he's fighting. He's not thriving. <laughs> and that is the first flash point. So remember, this is best of three. Um, so our team and Nichols is going to head to the next objective. Yeah, it's. I'd say it's now a coaching game now at this point. The coaches, it's up to them to try and rally the, the team and get them back into it mentally and come back from that because that's... That's definitely hard to overcome when you go down early in a in a game like this where it's one or no one. For sure. But I feel like the words out of our coaches that we just heard are are gonna help the team get back into this and hopefully get this next flash point. For sure. We are playing I think we're playing super well. Oh, unfortunate. Two a sticky ults there from the enemy tracer getting both our supports, just unfortunate. So up here trying to make his way back. Just run backing up as well. That's okay. Gives us a little bit of time to reset. Hoodnut here. We got to switch. Yeah, now we have Hoodnut on the Reaper. We've seen him play Reaper a few times. Very different than Genji. Uh, probably getting picked off a little bit too much by that Winston. Um, so Hoodnut will be able to pump a bit more damage into that enemy Winston. They were pushing we're in. Push out of, uh, stay here. Going in with Sims ult from Tut. 
we have our Katsune out. Trying to focus their healers, trying to get that support. There goes the enemy Lucio. Able to take down three. Echo. Ooh. Nice. Now we're going to go ahead and cap point really quick. Perfect. We're able to take down the last one. We're able to get a team kill right there. Awesome. Awesome little comeback here for Keith State. Uh, that's super important for the team right there, getting a lot of momentum out of that. Hopefully that propels us to this game victory. Mm -hmm. Keeping an eye out for which way Nichols is going to go. Again, that cheeky little um, tracer here looking for a pick. Goes in for a sim. Lots of damage going out. Tut goes down. Shadowstorm looking for to see how he can assist, seeing how he can support. Swept goes down. Shadowstorm healing back up, but got a little bit low there. Hoodnut just shooting into that monkey. Try to get as much damage in it as he can. Getting bounced around by the enemy Winston now. Ulting. You have an ult out of nice, and it looks like we are able to. Oh, stuck! A lot of damage going out on Midas here. He's got to be careful, but he's going back up. Chasing after that tracer. See if he's able to get the pick. Nice, and he is. That's going to be huge. going to be super, super delayed when we they try to repush. Oh. Enemy Winston jumping in. Hoodnut does have ult. We're going to see if he presses Q. He might not have to. Doesn't look like he'll have to. And we're able to take him down and get the first point. What's up? Nice. That's a great, that's a great turn of events for uh, Keen. Yes. Able to get a point and hopefully build some momentum going into the next one. Super, super fun little comeback here. So uh, we're going to push on to our third point. Of course, it's always across the map. <laughs> <laughs> Never right next door. Oh, looks like they're coming in from behind us. That's the one thing about Flashpoint that can be super tricky. You never know quite which way um, the enemy team is coming in. Looks like Nichols decided to switch over to an Orisa, um, which we have seen tonight. Winston jumping in, leaping on the supports. So up here, trying to stay alive, trying to keep our monkey alive. Unfortunately, monkey goes down. Shadowstorm. Hang it in there. Is gonna probably, yeah, unfortunately self-sacrifice so he can reset with the rest of the team. So sad to see. <laughs> we do have an advantage in the alts though, so that's a good that's a good sign for the team. We have a Hidnut ult, a Ta ult, and a Shadow Storm ult, and Swept by is very close. Yeah, we'll have to see how our teams are gonna use our ults. And I bet Midas is gonna get his by the time we engage with this next team. With Nichols here as well. Ooh, a lot of damage going out of Hood Knight. He's got to be careful here. Ooh. Looks like he's gonna maybe maybe press something. There we go. Pressing Q. Love to see it. Was able to get one pick there, two picks. Nice Hood Knight. He's got to hang in there. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, goes down. Yeah, Midas here trying to get back in as quickly as he can. That enemy Arisa sensing him on the other side. Now they can't see him, but <laughs> now he can. So we still are working with Puck's ult here um, and Midas's. Ooh, bang. We're probably hoping that he can get his ult and, and live there. Hoodnut. Shadowstorm. Hoodnut's still in there. Oh, unfortunately. Looks like Nichols is going to take that point, but we still do have at least one more map going here. So. Still plenty of time left. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we take this, then only one after that. I, I'm interested to see if they make any adjustments or if they stick with their strategy that worked for the second point mm -hmm. after losing the third one. I'm interested to see if they change Yeah, this last point, or not last point, but this, this next point here, um, it's a bit more enclosed, different angles. Oh, that we have the enemy Reapers ultimate. Got booped away. But it's uh, much more enclosed, so I'm curious how our team is going to come back. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to reset. Nichols going to start get it, gaining that percentage, but still lots of time. Still a lot of opportunity to get back in there. We probably have at least two pushes in there. Done it before. Mm -hmm. We could do it again. 
Um, this is sort of make or break it right now yeah, for our absolutely. team, though. If uh, if we don't take back this point, then that that will be the end of the game. So, a lot of pressure on our Keen State Owls right now. They can take it. They've been taking that pressure all all season. We'll have to see what we do. Oh, trying to keep up his fellow support. Shadowstorm getting, jumping away. Ooh. here crawling back. Midas getting a pick on there. Oh, unfortunately, he's down as well. So we are looking at... Looks like our last push. Season on the line. Yeah. We do see Swept pulling in here. Ooh, tough close down. Unable to get it. Unable to get that touch. So Nichols is going to take that round, and that is going to be the end of our game tonight. Um, thank you all for watching. We're going to go to a quick BRB after this play of the game. Looks like it's the enemy Arissa. I'll have to see where this was. Yes, when we're going on to the third objective. Yeah, that was a clean little javelin pick there. That was crazy. Unfortunate, but uh, a good showing out of Keen. Mm -hmm. they, they went up against a team that was undefeated besides the forfeit win, mm -hmm. and they were able to put up a good fight, and I think that goes well for their tournament that they're doing on Saturday mm -hmm. and going into next season. No, for sure. We got a lot more games coming, um, and, you know, we still have next season as well. This was our first season. I'm super proud. I'm sure yeah. you're super proud. Our coaches are super proud. Amazing gameplay uh, from our team in their first season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So looking at our notes really quick about what we're doing next. So um, so our Overwatch 2 team is actually competing in the Overwatch Collegiate Series. Um, right now we're uh, one and one. And our next game will be on Saturday at 2 p.m. and then 3.30. We're not sure if we'll be streaming these. Um, they, If we do, they'll be a bit more low-key, maybe no casters. Um, but if you're interested in following that, seeing how we do, feel free to follow us on Instagram um, or any of our social media. We'll be updating that there. Um, but that will be this Saturday. Um, and as that competition continues, we'll still be participating. Yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate they weren't able to get it done today, but it was definitely a good push at towards the end of the season mm -hmm. to bring it back from what pretty much everybody thought that they weren't going to make it to the playoffs and they were able to. So mm -hmm. that's a good sign going forward for the program as they were able to turn it around with coaching and mm -hmm. various different changes that they made through the team. And I'm excited to see what they, they're able to do in the future. Yeah, me too. It was an amazing season. We've had a lot of fun. And to, mi to us, that's the most important part, having fun, um, getting to play and represent Keene State College. And our owls out there did an amazing job. Um, and I'm super excited to see where we go from here. But yeah, we will go to our Be Right Back screen. And if we have more, we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.
Hello, how are you doing, Connor, after that game? I'm doing great. It was a, it was a tough game. They were a number two seed, but... Yeah, kind of kind of a scam well. job that they're that seed after they forfeited that one game and swept the one seed. Yeah, you get what you get. It's it's tough. We played better than I thought we would. Almost yeah. took some naps. Yeah, how do you feel after getting that player of the game in game two? Uh, you, lo uh, you love to get it. It's a little confidence booster. You love to see it. Didn't need Blade at all. Just yeah. Raw Shuriken skill. Just skill. That's oh yeah, all, that's all it takes. You just gotta be better. Like you. Thank you, thank you. It, it was how do you, how did you adapt to the nerves in this series when you're able to get that player of the game? Uh, getting the player of the game, it's kind of a, it's it's a it's a big boost for everyone. You can see that a moment like one of the best moments that our team has gives us boost morale for the next game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, going into it. How were the nerves? Were you were you excited? Were you nervous? I was pretty excited facing this team again. We faced them week two, which we felt like it was just a bunch of... At the time, it was right when the program was starting, so we felt like it was just a bunch of people playing games instead of a team. Yeah, how it was definitely. supposed to be. So how did you guys manage to make that switch from a more individual play style to a more team play style as the season went on? Uh, we kind of learn as we play, especially with the couple games that we played in the beginning, that playing by yourself is not gonna work. You got it's a team game for sure. Yeah, definitely. And having like the supports follow you, plan what your uh, attack is gonna be. It's it's a big team game. Yeah, and I heard you guys have a game on Saturday. Is yeah, we correct? do. We have a Overwatch tournament game. It is not gonna be streamed, I believe, but it, it, we're still gonna be playing. We're gonna be playing our best for the next season. Oh yeah. Exciting watching you guys. Thanks. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you. Hello viewers, um, Morgan Pretty back here, and today I am joined by the one and only um, head coach Noah Druin. Hello everybody. Um, so thank you all for enjoying that last interview. So we're going to talk a little bit with Coach Druin today. Talk to us a little bit about um, how you felt today's game went, how you think this weekend's games are going to go um, in our collegiate yeah, uh, I think this game went really well. This was a team that we played uh, early on in the season. You know, Connor just mentioned um, th they're a tough team. They're a good team, one of the best teams in the division. We knew it was going to be a tough game this evening. I think uh, despite the outcome um, of all three maps, I think this team played super well. And uh, I think we surprised Nichols a bit this evening um, and made them kind of pivot their game plan a little bit. I'm super proud of this team um, and how they played this evening. Um, and then looking to Saturday, we have the Overwatch. Uh, championship Legion Series uh, Swiss Part 2 so we have two more games at 2 and 3.30 Eastern Time um, I think the team's ready to go um, they, they played super well the other day took down California State University San Marcos um, I can't remember who we're playing at 2pm on Saturday but uh, we're ready to take on all comers um, and, and keep improving as a team um, I'm super excited for them Perfect, perfect um, so you know looking at a game like this and you know throughout the season 
as a head coach and specifically one of the direct coaches for the Over, Overwatch 2 team at Keene State College, um, how do you work with your other assistant coach to keep the momentum and enthusiasm high during tough situations where maybe you're down a map? Like, what, do you, what are your goals in, in that? Yeah, so Coach Mike and I really like to make an effort to uh, keep a united front going. Uh, you know, we stick to the game plan. Sometimes when you come out of the map, uh, come out of the spawn, and, and something doesn't really go right, uh, sometimes our, our guys are very quick to want to switch the comp or make a switch. Um, but we really like to ha have them keep their confidence, stay the course, um, and execute what the game plan is. When those situations get tough, um, you know, the coaches feel the same thing as the players, but we can't show it as much. You know, we got to keep our composure um, and, and keep the positivity high. So when it comes to working with Mike, um, we really do do our best to uh, to bounce off of each other, keep the energy high, remind people to take deep breaths, uh, stick to the game plan, and make those reminders of keeping communication up, tracking ultimates on the other team. Because when you're actually playing the game, that's the hard part. Our job is not the hard job. When they're actually playing the game, that's that's the tough thing. And so um, we do our best to track things for them and you know help them make plays and remind them of the stuff that we, we draw up before we even get in the lobby. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then looking at this week, you know, all together. So you are the, the head esports coach for Keith State College. So you're in charge of not only the Overwatch 2 team, uh, but also our Rocket League team and our Smash team. What kind of games did you have this week? What are we looking forward to later in this week? Yeah, so uh, all three in our very first season, uh, all three of our varsity esports teams here at Keene State College made varsity playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, and so Rocket League just last night defeated University of Mary Washington in their uh, quarterfinal matchup 4-1. to one. So they play again next Monday. Uh, and then tonight, uh, Overwatch's nay season ends, but of course it continues in the championship series for Overwatch Collegiate. Uh, and then just two nights from now, our Smash Brothers team uh, is taking on um, Stony Brook University in their quarterfinal matchup in the playoffs. And so we have a lot of uh, excitement stuff that's already happened this week and uh, still to come. Um, if uh, Smash Bros wins on Thursday, they move on to the semifinals as well. Um, and despite the outcome for Overwatch, again, they got things coming on later this season. Um, and then Rocket League, and of course their season's continuing. So all of our teams are staying busy in some way. Yeah. Smash's uh, season will stay busy if they, get, regardless of the outcome this week. So yeah. uh, we got a lot going on. Perfect. And then last question, you know, talking about what's coming up, um, looking at the future of esports at Keene State College, what are some things that you're looking forward to maybe over the summer or maybe into next semester? Yeah, one of my uh, big job responsibilities is to um, is to uh, recruit and, and you know keep this program healthy and strong and bringing in new people. Uh, so you know one of my favorite things I, I like doing is seeking out new talent at the high school level, at the collegiate level, transfers and so forth, and bringing people on. Um, and so you know that's one of my big responsibilities. We have a pretty strong recruiting class coming in for uh, Overwatch, Rocket League, Smash Bros, and Valorant. Of course, is going to be our newest title. Um, we already have uh, four Valorant recruits uh, confirmed to be coming to Keene State, which is super exciting. Um, so that that's what what's coming on the docket. We're adding another title, adding more student athletes, growing this program, uh, and we're going to see where we can take it next year. I think this first season uh, has been a remarkable success. I can't thank the student athletes enough for bringing their expertise to the game, uh, to the games that they play, my assistant coaches, all of the... Uh, you know, fans of Keen State Esports, yourself and all the shoutcasters, Spencer, who's off camera, our live stream <laughs> technician, who uh, is the brains behind all of our live operations. Um, it's really been a team effort from everybody, and I can't be more thankful for how this season has gone, and it just makes me more excited for, uh, for fall 2024 as well. Awesome. Perfect. Anything else you want to add to the viewers before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll reiterate. Thanks again so much to everybody uh, who is, has been supporting our first season, whether you're Keene State alum, Keene, friends of student athletes, staff at Keene State, whoever you are, thanks for tuning into our streams and really making this a, a special launch semester and season for the program. We can't thank you guys enough, and uh, we're, we're going to be back bigger and better than ever for the next season as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We'll be back.
Hello, everyone. We are here signing off, but before we go, we just wanted to give you a little information on our upcoming games. So uh, on Thursday, we have our Smash game in the round of six against Stony Brook. That will be at 7 p.m. And Rocket League has their semifinal matchup. You'll be seeing me there. Uh, we're going against Kettering at 7 p.m. And we're going to we take him down, go to the finals. Yeah, for sure. I'll be there as well. Not casting, but I'll be watching for oh, sure. Sweet. Woo. All right. Well, thank you again. Um, and we hope to see you in future Overwatch 2 games um, and also our other esports and maybe Valorant in the fall. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.